Yeah. Um, I just saw, like, I didn't know before that I beat like six Grand Slam finalists in a row. <laughs> it's like I cannot believe it, and it's amazing. I uh, I have no words for this, and uh, definitely talk of a tough draw. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So in the viewing match, how tough was it to stay focused given that you were having problems with your boots and in front of you for the match? Did this keep you away during the match? Um, yeah, definitely. It was for sure very hot today for both players. We both uh, were fighting so hard. We had long rallies, so it was obvious uh, that we, we were very exhausted, uh, both. And I mean, I'm really sorry she had to end like this and uh, she was a little bit injured or sick, I don't know. I tried not to focus so much, but obviously it was a very dangerous situation as well because she was going for her shots, not looking for the rally so much. And I was, uh, I thought if I'm just gonna keep the ball in, um, she's somehow not gonna make it, but she did. And uh, I think I played a little bit too defensive. And um, yeah, what can I say? I just, I am happy that I, also after I lost the second set, which was very, like, my case very stupid. Um, I, I stayed focused and I made a 3 0, so I can be proud of how I fought today as well because, I mean, also I was after I was dead. So, um, as one of the younger players, I guess, as one of the younger players on tour, what does a big win like this do for your confidence? Well, obviously, it's a very big boost for the confidence. I now I actually feel like I belong here and. Uh, that I can be really one of the top players is an amazing feeling and uh, I mean for sure I'm not going to expect uh, of myself to do every tournament so good like this because it's uh, I mean I have to learn the consistency a little bit but the younger players uh, I mean of course we're not going to play every tournament uh, perfect so I really have to keep going and uh, You finally got used to rest a little bit uh, during those long breaks and you had to wait for comments on timeouts. No, it's nothing new for me to wait when the opponent has medical timeouts. It happens often and also against BCP I had the same. I try not to sit too long. I try to move and uh, go to the court and show her that I'm ready. And uh, yeah, I'm used to it. Can you walk us through what your last, you know, 18, I guess, hours were like since match point against Serena? I mean, what, how late did you get to bed? How did you recover? What, or how early did you have to get up? All of that. All right, so after the match, I um, went to the gym and obviously I saw you guys and uh, we went to the hotel. Oh yeah, I got the cupcake because my fitness coach said if I win, I get a cupcake. So I had that one. <laughs> um, I went to the hotel um, obviously I, I eat and we took the food with us and I take a shower and for sure I couldn't sleep <laughs> it was obvious and my phone was exploding like from the messages I was looking at my phone I was like no I put it down <laughs> um, I didn't reply to all of the people just my family and the priority people <laughs> so I'm sorry to them if they read this or see this and uh, <laughs> After I finally went to sleep, today in the morning I had to wake up uh, quite early and it was at one o'clock this match and I, I was very sore, tired and everything, I was like <laughs> tired and um, well we came here, I mean good breakfast, we came here, I had gym and warm up and, and I was ready for the match and if you are in the match then tiredness goes away and like the adrenaline kicks you in and uh, like helps you a lot in the match. <laughs> At any point during the match, did you did you feel tired or were you okay? I was throughout? tired, but I think I was less tired than her. So that was like mentally for me, it was very good, and I tried to show her that I am uh, I'm ready and I'm not tired yet. But uh, after I was crying again. Yeah. <laughs> Linda, again, congratulations! Um, I was impressed again by uh, the way you react. Actually, you did not react to the. Romanian fans, they were very, you know, strong, and you felt sometimes like, oh, he is your coach, is Martina's mom, is Martina's help, who is it helping you more to be, because you're very young, but you're already so balanced, what's the secret? I don't 
don't know what's the secret. I just take it as a normal thing. I don't see that if they are against me, I just see that they are rooting for her. And I think it's normal in the tennis match that people have their faves and uh, like the people they don't like so much. So I really wasn't so bothered. And also, if you are in a match, you don't hear it so much like maybe you do. So um, I don't know. Some people also cheered for me, so I, I hear that as well. <laughs> I'm happy too, so um, I don't know, I just expected that and it was ner and like normal for me and uh, my dad, my coach, everyone prepared me also well for this. So. Uh, Belinda, what was going through your mind when you had a chance to serve the match day in the second set? Yeah, <laughs> um, obviously I was so, so, I mean, I didn't play such a bad game, she just hit very well in that moment and uh, of course, I was a little bit getting tight, and I think it's normal, but uh, I tried to improve that in the next match. And um, yeah, at 5-4, it was the same situation. Uh, she played very good, and I didn't deal with it so good. And uh, then I just kept myself going and said, it's normal, it happens in tennis every week, you, you see it. And I just uh, got every point. And uh, have you had a cupcake yet? No, but uh, I will get one. <laughs> what, 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 uh, what flavor? Oreo. <laughs>